Hello all and welcome to another Ask the Prof video. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a company called Alt-Red. Uh, ever since I announced the partnership with them in January, I've received a number of questions ranging from what is it, what is it supposed to do, does it actually work, and so that's what I'm going to walk through today. So Alt-Red itself is a beta lane supplement not a beta alanine, which is another common uh, pre-workout supplement. This is a beta lane. All right, a beta lane is a phytonutrient, uh, which is a fancy way or word for saying it's a nutrient found in plants. Uh, it is primarily found in beets, but also found in some cactus and other plants as well. In itself, it has a very low bioavailability. So that means if you were to just eat a beet, for example, or a lot of beets, for example, most of the beta lanes that you're consuming are just going to be eliminated from the body. You don't actually absorb a high percentage of them from natural foods. Um, they just pass through the body. So what Alt-Red has uh, claimed is that they found a way to make a beta lane a thousand times more bioavail bioavailable to the body. So that means that we're going to absorb a much higher percentage of that and be able to use it uh, within the body at the cellular level. So the questions that we need to answer is, does that actually have a benefit for exercise and for the form of exercise that I'm going to be doing? Okay, so um, that's what the, I guess, the process that I had to go through to determine whether or not to partnership with Alt-Red. All right, so one of the most common questions that I get is what is the difference between Alt Red and drinking beet juice because, as I just said, Alt Red is a beta lane substance that comes from beets. Okay, so beet juice definitely had um, a lot of popularity. Um, there is some benefit, or there is some research showing benefits. There's some research that show conflicting uh, benefits, and then there's some that just show that um, beet juice supplementation doesn't really work. And so there's a little bit of conflict there within the research. But if you're if you're taking a beet juice supplement, or if you're you're um, loading up on beet juice, um, you're doing it typically uh, to try to get a benefit from increasing the nitrates or the nitric oxide concentrations in your body, all right? So your nitrate loading, okay? So the problem with that is, is that nitrates have a very short half-life, okay? So they are eliminated from the body. They're broken down by the body very, very quickly. And so it's hard to load the body up with an, uh, enough nitrates for it to make a meaningful uh, difference during exercise, especially for exercise lasting longer than a couple of minutes. So for endurance athletes uh, like myself, that becomes kind of the drawback possibility of, of nitrate loading. What a beta lane is, is it's, it allows the body to increase the more uh, slow release form of nitric oxide, right? This is called nitrosylated hemoglobin. We'll call it HBNO for the rest of the video because that's a lot easier to say. All right, so what that basically does is it allows the body, or it doesn't break down within the body quite as quickly as standard nitric oxide. All right, so for context, the half-life, for the that's the um, scientific way of measuring the breakdown of a substance. All right, so the half-life of nitric oxide is about half a second. The half-life of HBNO is over six hours, all right? So great. Um, if we're able to increase our concentrations of HBNO, does that actually prove to have a benefit to exercise? Is that related to increase in performance, okay? Well, HBNO is something that is going to enhance vasodilation, all right? So that basically means that it dilates the blood vessels, which allows um, blood to travel easier to working muscles, all right? During exercise, that means it can deliver oxygen easier and take away waste easier and faster, okay? So that is going to be a benefit if we can actually do that. Increased ability for the body to use its own nitrate stores. Again, we've talked about uh, the benefits of nitrate, or, or uh, the possible benefits of nitrate loading, um, but if we're able to use our own stores at a higher rate or a more efficient rate, that can be a benefit as well. Um, 
and HBNO has also uh, been shown to be an antioxidant. So it's going to reduce the amount of oxidative stress that we have, uh, which is going to reduce the muscle damage during exercise and then improve recovery, okay? So what that means is there is a reason uh, or a, a, at least a rationale that if we can increase our HBNO concentrations within the body, we could see an a increase uh, in both performance and recovery, okay? So when we talk about this things in the form of the sniff test, that, you know, step one is, is there a physiological rationale? That's basically what I've just walked you through, okay? So step two is, it, has there been relevant research? And when I was going through this process and making the decision, I looked at well over 20 studies on um, beta lanes and then on uh, the actual beta lane uh, supplement that um, Alt-Red is, is using, okay? And so these uh, studies ranged from studies done on biochemistry or in the blood uh, or measuring levels within the blood or in, in the muscle. Uh, there were studies done on triathletes, cyclists, runners, and then there was also studies done on anaerobic athletes as well. And so when we're looking at relevant research, there is definitely a plethora out there and I could easily find some that was related to what I was looking for specifically. And without trying to go through the, um, the results of a number of different studies, I'll just list a few here really quickly so you can see um, the benefits that I guess caught my eye uh, quickly. So as you can see, for myself as an endurance athlete and a triathlete specifically, those are all uh, positive things. So that, you know, step two relevant research definitely got a passing grade in my book. Um, step three is then going to be level of evidence. And the benefit of some of these sub supplements is that they're in a pill form and so that makes it really easy to to design very well uh good strong studies right so you can very easily make a placebo and you can very easily do double blind randomized studies um that you know so the that means that neither the person taking or doing the exercise or taking the the um supplement or and the person that is actually collecting the data Neither of them know who is a control, who's in the placebo. Who, they don't. So that's a very high. That that type of study design has a very high level of evidence. All right. So step three is an easy uh, passing mark as well. Step four is the dissemination of research, and so basically because it's so easy to design studies really well with this type of supplement, it's when you get a significant result, it's easier to get them uh, published in really high level journals. All right, the high level journals want to uh, have well-designed studies. And so the um, studies on beta lanes and on this actual uh, supplement has been uh, published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology, um, Applied Physiology and Nutrition, and then also um, journals that are looking at the nutri nutrition and bio, uh, biochemistry as well, such as food chemistry, uh, nutrition and dietary supplements. All right, so there's a wide range of areas that this um, has been uh, disseminated in, which again is just going to um, increase the strength uh, that we can, or increase the validity that we can put into those studies. All right, and then finally is um, the target audience. Who are they marketing to? All right, I already mentioned that I was able to find um, find studies on triathletes, find studies on cyclists, find studies on runners. Uh, there was also numerous studies done on anaerobic athletes, but then there are also studies done on um, sedentary individuals and individuals with um, long uh, chronic illnesses such as osteoarthritis that also showed a significant um, result. And so basically they have a very wide target audience um, and I definitely fit into that target audience um, 
as an endurance athlete. So because of all these steps were, were passed, I was easily able to say, yes, this is somebody that I can partner with. And so that's basically the whole um, process that I went through and why I decided to start working with Alt-Red.